Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you four DIY West Elm inspired planters that are both affordable and easy to make. To make these you will need some metal planters and a small plant stand. I found all of these from my local Poundland in the garden and homeware section. You'll also need a selection of spray paints depending on what colour theme you opt for as well as some scissors, glue gun and pliers and finally a selection of chains and string are also essential if you decide to make a hanging planter. So let's start off with this plant stand idea and this really is super easy to DIY. So all you need to do is spray your stand in your chosen colour and allow to dry. You could even leave it black if desired but as you can see this simple plant stand and decorative planter can transform a room in seconds. Next, moving on to these metal planters. First, I'm again spraying each in my chosen metallic colour to match my decor for that room. The wider plant part also has a cage part to it, so I'm spraying this black to add some contrast. Then once everything is dry, you can decide how you're going to hang your pots. So for this smaller gold one, I'm using some string to hang my planter. And all you need to do is measure out your string depending on how high or low you want your pot to hang. Then once you're happy with the length, you can go ahead and thread your string through either side of the handles and secure with a double knot. I'm also tying another knot at the top of the string to add a little more detail and to help the planter hang evenly. Then finally to finish I'm securing my string down with glue either side and then I'm adding the main attraction, this beautiful cactus which goes perfectly with the gold. Now if you're not keen on the string then why not hang your planter with some gold chain? All you need to do is cut your chosen chain to size and loop each end onto the handle of the pot either side. Again, for extra security, go ahead and glue each side of the chain down to the pot. Then you're good to go with adding another beautiful cactus or a green house plant. Finally, for the wider pot, I'm using a string again, but this time I'm measuring out two pieces of string that will feed under the planter in a crisscross pattern, creating four pieces that will form the loop at the top to hang the pot. All you need to do is measure out two pieces of string depending on how low or high you want the planter to hang. I'm then feeding the first piece of string underneath and then through each loop where the handle is. Next, turn your pot over so you can secure the string down with some glue to the wire frame underneath. Then you can go ahead and secure each side on the top with a double knot by the handle. Finally, repeat the same process with the second piece of string, securing underneath and on top. Then lastly, to create your hanging loop, gather all four of your strings together in the middle and tie a knot where you want the loop to be. Then use the remainder of the string to form your loop, securing in a knot again. Once 
Once you're happy with your loop, cut off your excess string and glue down any loose ends. Then you're now ready to add your plant and hang away. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if it inspired you to make some gorgeous DIY planters. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration. And if you missed my last video, you can go ahead and click on the picture link in the middle and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the week guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, bye.